Hello everyone and welcome to FRS Decision 2016. I'm Zach and I'm here with Melissa. This is the first of a series of interviews we'll be conducting from local leaders to hear what they have to say about political culture uh, during this critical uh, election season. On election day, we will be holding a three hour live broadcast starting at 5 p.m. to bring you exit poll information conducted by Frontier students at the, at the four voting locations throughout the day. Among our guests on election day will be Senate President Stan Rosenberg. And to kick off today, we are here with Trevor McDaniel. He is a uh, selectman for the town of Deerfield. Trevor, thank you for being here. Thank you for inviting me. Uh, so just to jump in right away, uh, question uh, regarding question four, what will the, uh, the casinos propose have, uh, what effect will they have on our local economies? Uh, a bit of a double-edged sword, I think. Um, it's great to see economic development. I work in, out of Springfield, and I cover a lot of the territory, a lot of Western Mass for where I'm uh, for my job, and I see a, a huge benefit to the construction that's going on. A lot of uh, union workers have got jobs, and a lot of construction and contractors, and um, it's good to see that. And I think that'll trickle out to a lot of the. Uh, home builders that are going to need to build homes and remodel homes for people that are coming to get jobs. So in my industry, it's 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 a good thing. Um, but it also, uh, you know, again, double-edged sword. It, it, casinos have not not always proven to be a great form of income. Um, you know, we we have concern about who goes and how often they go. It'll be nice to have some entertainment and shows and dining and um, a place to go out. But it can also be a very addictive. Uh, thing for people to do. So um, I worry about the people who do have an addictive personality to gambling and um, and p some people should not be gambling. They don't have the money to gamble and um, so I, I hope we have programs there to help those in need. Do you think the particular community that a casino would be in would be negatively impacted uh, yes, I think, well, traffic, certainly, um, crime is always a concern. Um, it all depends on the planning, and I think if, if it's done well um, and, and money has been put into infrastructure as far as um, police, security, um, fire, um, and, and, uh, and other parts of town that would, would need to handle all that traffic and all those people coming in um, to keep order, I think, I think it can have a good a good outpack, uh, a good uh, impact on the community. All right, so on to uh, question two. Uh, what are your thoughts about the expansion of charter schools? Oh, uh, definitely against the cap. Um, I'm on the school committee for uh, Deerfield Elementary for the last year, um, and I've been on the board for the Collaborative for Educational Services, which is a, um, a group of uh, school committees in Franklin and Hampshire County and uh, all of us most all of the school committees that I've spoken to are against raising the cap um, I think it's it's great to have some mix of um, other alternative schools to go to for for people who don't fit in at your normal public school but um, I think we're saturated in this market and I don't think we need any more they're pulling a ton of money away from public education. Uh, I'm not so much against charter schools, I'm, I'm against the way they're funded. Um, and it's just been a huge, a huge impact on our, our public schools. From a public school, that's a very satisfying answer. <laughs> um, going towards another question. Okay. How do you think the vote towards an animal cure cruelty would have an impact on the economy? Uh, I haven't followed that question as much as I need to before the election, but I did, I did think about it a little bit. Um, it, it's a, it's, I, I completely am in favor of, um, I think it's voting yes is, is making sure that they're not in, 
in cages and confined, um, and, and that's that would be my my position. Um, I do I do wonder how that some of what they're doing in that there's again the double-edged sword how how it affects the economy and how people um, purchase things because it's also in how you purchase products. Um, so I th I have to do a little more research on that because it's going to have a lot of um, impact that people. You know, people think about the small cage. I mean, everybody's for that, of not having animals stuck in a cage. We also have to think about the impact and what, what the rest of the bill is going to impact for, for our economy. Um, and I think there's a balance to be had there. I would probably just need to brush up on that a little bit more to have a better answer on it. All right, well, moving on to question four and the issues of uh, legalizing marijuana. Do you believe that... Uh, the legalization of cannabis would lead to more dangerous behaviors? Uh, no, I, I don't. I think, um, I think it's, you know, th there again, uh, there's two sides to every story. I think it, it makes a huge impact for people medically. Um, I'm, I'm probably not in favor of recreational. Um, however, we have alcohol and that does a lot more damage than marijuana does. Um, to people's um, health, driving, social, um, social environment, to people, you know, their families, huge impact. And I don't think marijuana has that that amount of impact, but it it would have to be highly regulated and um, and taxed. It's a, it's another form of income for for states. So if it's done right and done well, um, I would not be opposed to it. Um. Even considering if there are any advances in our economy for legalizing marijuana, mm -hmm. are you sure there wouldn't be any other downsides to consider? Sure, I'm, I'm sure there would be. Um, you know, obviously health of children, um, you know, we regulate alcohol very well. Um, people can't drink, you know, unless they're 21. Um, you can't drink and drive, all of those same um, rules would need to apply to legalization of marijuana. Um, but I'm not, um, you know, I think, I think it's, it, it's been put in a class of other hard, harder, um, drugs that it probably shouldn't have been. Um, and I think that there's a lot of research that can be done. Um, there's a lot of good that can come from that medically. I'm not saying recreational, but medical use of marijuana for people that are in pain, um, have cancer, or maybe um, terminal that can help them with nausea and a lot of other things. So I think that, you know, the lifting the cap on um, letting people, letting uh, schools and um, medical institutions do research on uh, marijuana and see what it can do for, for the medical field, I think would be a benefit. Um, I'm not a fan of it recreational, but yeah. Uh, you mentioned from a financial standpoint that uh, it would be taxed. Uh, cities and towns would have the option to pick up um, a two, an extra 2% tax. Mm -hmm. uh, if uh, recreational marijuana is legalized, would you pick up that 2% uh, tax? Yes. Yeah, I mean, I, again, I think, I think there's ways that it, that it can benefit towns. But, you, again, everything has a, has a double-edged sword. I think you have to, you have to do it smart. And you, you can't just, um, you have to make sure people are uh, doing it wisely. And um, again, me for more for medical use, um, I, do, I do believe the tax benefits will help, will help cities and towns. I mean, we're really tight in our budget. So um, we, we do have a marijuana plant coming into Deerfield. So we'll be, you know, if it becomes recreational, we'll have to look at that and see where we can we can get some tax money out of it. Out of the aforementioned issues, which would you feel is the most important? Um, the casinos was was very important. It's it was it's been very um, it's been thought about a lot over the last couple of years with it coming into Springfield and seeing the effects that it had on um, Trump's casino, you know, and how, how, how all that's played out. Um, I think it's not as, 
it's not as rosy. I, we love the building and the the infrastructure, but I think we could be doing other kinds of infrastructure and other building that would be um, more beneficial long term than a casino. So I, I worry too much about the negative impacts on society and the cost down the road for that than I do uh, the benefits of, of the short term building. Right. And finally, uh, I want to ask you why young people should care about getting involved in the political process at even at this age when we can't vote. Yeah, you're the future. Uh, you have to get involved. We need you so much. Uh, I'm not real young, but young in, in, um, in relation to the other people that are in towns. And I think uh, that was one of the reasons I felt I needed to get involved. Um, I'm 45 and, and I felt it was time for my generation to step up and, and get involved in local town politics because um, we need to learn from our elders uh, who've been doing it a long time and, and, and then also bring some new fresh ideas. There's so much impact in the world um, on your generation. It, it, it's, it's your generation that are going to be dealing with all these issues. And if we don't have um, an informed and involved citizen um, involved in town government, you know, local government, state, national government, or in, or in a world of hurt, we need you really bad. Right. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. It's a reminder again, we will be going live on election day starting at 5 p.m. with more coverage of the uh, exit polls from the four towns of the debates. So please join us then. Thank you and have a good night.